Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of On the River. I'm your host, Joe Morgalek, and I'm happy to be here with you today. We've got some fun things to talk about this week, including scholarships, community involvement for online surveys, and even an effort to create a new sport at St. Clair High School. I'll be introducing you to one of my favorite freighters at the end of the show, and there are some other fun topics to dive into as well, so I'm excited to get started. Today I'd like to kick it off by giving you some information about a survey which is being conducted by Michigan State University. Students from Michigan State are working on a project regarding school reuse in St. Clair. The current closure of Eddy Elementary and future closure of Gearing Elementary have offered a unique opportunity for study. They are offering a survey to help gauge the community's interest in the reuse of these buildings, and a form can be found on the City of St. Clair Recreation Facebook page. The survey asks simple questions like how long residents have lived in the city, their age range, and what kind of changes they would like to see. Responses remain anonymous, though residents are also offered an opportunity to follow up with these changes by submitting their email address to receive further information and inclusion on the project. The submissions of those who would like to receive the emails will no longer re remain anonymous. Now to address a problem that has plagued cities across the country for many years. While the city works hard to maintain a nice environment and continue making positive changes for the community, citizens have continued to litter and treat public parks disrespectfully. In particular, cigarette butts are being thrown to the ground, leaving a dirty and unpleasant look about our public parks. Cigarettes are the most common form of litter in our area, and it takes almost 10 years for a cigarette filter to break down. Surprisingly, surveys have found that 77% of people do not think cigarette butts are litter. The image shown was taken recently at Gregg Park in St. Clair. It's clear to see that there is a problem in our area, so we encourage those who have been using cigarettes to dispose of them properly in order to maintain a nice and clean environment. Now for another program being offered by Michigan State University. The MSU 4-H program is encouraging youth aged 13 to 19 to participate in what they are referring to as the Goose Chase Challenge. The online scavenger hunt was created with the intention of celebrating military families and will take place during the month of April. Missions will be released within the app with opportunities to win prizes and learn more along the way. If you know someone under the age of 13 who would also like to participate, they are welcome to join by teaming up with a parent, guardian, or older sibling to participate. For those interested, visit the website at events.anr.msu.edu. Please note that participants will need to download the app and create a username before registering for the program. The Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy has kicked off what they are referring to as Fix a Leak Week. The effort is aimed to educate consumers and water providers on the importance of fixing plumbing leaks in order to save money on water and energy bills. Fix a Leak Week brings together consumers, community partners, utility providers, and plumbing experts from across the state to educate Michiganders on the environmental and economic costs to water waste. Throughout the week, the program will be sharing practical tips to reduce water waste with Michigan residents and water providers. Those interested are encouraged to tune in for webinars focusing on energy and water conservation collaborations supported by utilities companies and first-hand accounts from local leaders on successful community leak repair. Fixing leaking plumbing saves money and promotes environmental sustainability by reducing water waste and energy consumption. By broadening the knowledge on such topics, we hope to create a cleaner and safer environment while saving money along the way. In the first six weeks since the Michigan Reconnect scholarships became available, over 62,000 were accepted. The Michigan Reconnect scholarships offer tuition-free community college and provide an opportunity not only for those who have chosen to file independently, but also for those who applied for and did not receive the Future for Frontliners scholarship. The students were automatically entered with the potential to receive the Reconnect scholarships, and many have been accepted. Michigan Reconnect is the largest effort in the history of the state to make college affordable for students aged 25 or older without a degree. State Senator Sean McCann has said that if you are someone who has always wanted to go to college or return to finish a degree, now may be the right time to make that dream become a reality. Reconnect scholarships are accepted by all Michigan community colleges and are also available to eligible adults already enrolled in their local community college. As pointed out by Susan Corbin of the Department of Labor and Opportunity, 
Future for Frontliners and Michigan Reconnect have combined to connect over 180,000 Michiganders with the good, paying jobs and businesses that they need to thrive. Also for this week, St. Clair River Lanes is attempting to gather support for a St. Clair High School bowling team. Most schools in the St. Clair County have a bowling team, but St. Clair High does not. Bowling is a sport that many students would find fun, and it also stands out for the fact that competitors are not quite so limited by physical attributes as they may be in other sports. Many students may wish to play a significant role in a competitive sport, but feel as though their size or musculature is holding them back from contributing to the team. This is absolutely not the case for bowling, as even the highest ranks of competition in the country have featured competitive bowlers of all shapes and sizes. If you agree that a bowling team would be a good addition to the number of great programs being offered by St. Clair High School, we encourage you to express your support for the idea, whether it be just a comment to the community Facebook page or even a friendly conversation with another member of the community, garnering some support for this idea could help bring it to fruition. Well, that's going to do it for this week's local news. As you know, I like to end my On the River segment by talking about one of the freighters that you might see passing by on our beautiful St. Clair River. And this week, I would like to highlight one of my favorites, a classic American ve vessel known as the Alpina. She was built in 1942 right here in the great state of Michigan and sailed her maiden voyage on June 21st of that year. The ship originally went by the name Leon Fraser and sailed under this name until 1991 when she was returned to service as a cement carrier after being purchased by Inland Lakes in 1990. With the return to service, Leon Fraser was renamed Alpina, the name she still goes by today. The ship is not the first to sail the lakes under the name Alpina. There was actually a similarly built ship that was green in color who sailed under the name from 1909 to 1968. The original boat to go by this name was scrapped in 1973, and to those wondering, both ships were named after the city of Alpina. The boat famously caught fire in 2015 and nearly saw the end of her time. But to the joy of many, she was repaired and sent back out on the lakes in 2016. Nowadays, you can see the Alpina traveling all five of Michigan's Great Lakes. The classic American vessel is a fan favorite of boat washers, watchers all across Michigan for her classy design and intriguing history. If you catch word that the Alpina is coming by on the St. Clair River or happen to notice it passing by, I encourage you to go check it out as the classic vessel is one of the most celebrated ships on the lakes. That's going to do it for this week's edition of On the River. This has been a fun script for me to write as bowling is one of my favorite hobbies, the Alpina is one of my favorite freighters, and many of the other topics we talked about today have been interests of mine as well. I hope you all at home found something to take away from the show this week. We'll have plenty more to talk about next week, so I look forward to be ba being back with you then. Once again, I'm your host, Joe Morgalek, and this has been On the River. Till next time.